Sandwich press. Teflon baking sheets. Silicone gloves. Clean up the press, make sure nothing weird is on it. Whip out that Teflon baking sheet, non-stick. Super easy to work with. Whip out those gloves. Milk jugs, cut up from milk jugs. Slam that sucker shut. Marking out wood to make a form. Using the speed square to get a nice right angle. Gotta have something to stick that HDP in. Put on the gloves. It is hot. You will get burned. Whip that junk out. Fold it up into a chunk and then put in a bit more. Loud noises. Chopping up the wood to make the form out of. A little off the top. Nice. Checking on the melt, seeing how far we are. Fold it all up, add a little bit more, slap it back down. Taking off the hard edges, all the slivers, all the, you know, messy stuff, so that when I do make the form, it'll be nice and smooth. Pulled a real smooth brain move, had it at 180 when it's supposed to be 180 Celsius, not Fahrenheit. You gotta get it up to 350 degrees. Nailing that sucker together. It's pretty messy, kind of grimy, but I'll take it. Using the inner piece of the mold to act as a spacer for the pieces that are going around it. And there you go. Setting it up. Looks alright. Super dangerous. Put a mark on it so I know exactly where, you know, out of the four sides which one goes there. Got C-clamps ready to go. I take off the HDPE, jam it inside of the mold, and then put the cover on as best as I can. And then I take the C-clamps and smush them all in there, trying to get it as even as possible. I ended up with four C-clamps, one on each corner. Look at that nub. Oh yeah. Poke it. He stayed a lot hotter than I thought it would for a really long time. I left it for about an hour before cracking the part. I was trying to make a coaster for a cup, but it's a little uneven. And this is what we got. Look at that thing little wrinkly square. Looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Just gotta breathe it in. Do what I want. And then you'll get all sorts of cancers. I do what I want. You can't stop me from growing tumors. I'll tell you, my mother.